If there is snow and ice in October, January will hardly get cold and white, or sunshine on New Year's Day will bring a fruitful year. For a long time, folk sayings have been strongly suggesting an inseparable connection between the weather, atmospheric conditions and agriculture. A preferably accurate weather forecast is of utmost importance for crop growing and harvesting, and what is most helpful, generations of farmers have known this, are data assets from here and now. Only with the help of this data is it possible to use culture-protecting techniques as pesticides and irrigation efficiently and effectively. The so-called agricultural meteorology is devoted to collecting and processing this data. Meteorology is usually associated with forecasting the weather. But forecasting the weather is only one of the options meteorology offers. How much rain did the wheat get this season? What types of wind was it affected by? And what types of vermin became a problem by these conditions? For many centuries, the detection of past and current weather conditions has served the purpose to assess the current condition of cultivated plants. In the early 90s, Rhineland Palatinate started setting up an agro-meteorological network in line with integrated and environmentally friendly crop growing. The goal was to facilitate more environmentally friendly and, primarily, more sustainable crop growing and to provide the farmers of Rhineland Palatinate with centrally collected weather data as guidelines that serve to help them in their decision making. With profound knowledge of the weather conditions, farmers have to take action only against actually existing vermin and threats pertaining to the harvest, thus the soil and, in particular, the fruit will not get polluted unnecessarily. The service center responsible for the collection and administration of agro-meteorological data for Rhineland Palatinate is called DLR. About 170 observation stations are monitored by the local agricultural meteorology based in Oppenheim. Whereas in the past staff members had to collect handwritten data sheets, today observation stations transmit their data live to the central receiving station in Oppenheim. There, specially designed software assesses data pertaining to temperature, precipitation, humidity, wind intensity and frost for efficiency. If discrepancies or deviations are noticed, members of DLR's technical staff will investigate the incident on site. As a matter of fact, the observation stations require continuous maintenance and care to provide high-quality meteorological data all year round. And since the quality of the data directly depends on the accuracy of the sensors, they are repaired and calibrated by agro-meteorological technicians in their own repair shops on a regular basis. Numerous weather stations were set up in each of the areas that are monitored by agricultural meteorology. In the Eiffel, Palatinate and Rhein-Hesse region, and in the Hunsrück, Nahe, Moselsaar and Westerwald East Eiffel region. Because only a close-knit regional network guarantees high-quality data and the farmers are able to retrieve regional weather data relevant to their farming. DLR in Oppenheim collects 11 billion sets of data per year with 33 million a day. However, Weather data alone does not provide practical guidelines for farmers to help in the decision-making process pertaining to crop growing. They have to be analyzed and interpreted. Therefore, the second main task of agricultural meteorology in Oppenheim is to convert the weather data into particular forecasting and monitoring models, the results of which have to be displayed for the farmers in a well-arranged format. In order to generate actual support from raw weather data, 
profound knowledge is required of the biology of illnesses and vermin, as well as the conditions necessary for the growth of plants and their interdependence. This knowledge is gained by service center specialists across the country in special test operations. There, the influence of climatic conditions, the use of pesticides and fertilizers, and the irrigation of particular test lots are examined. The staff members examine the complicated relation of different dependencies in agriculture by observing individual lots under varying test conditions. The scientific problems in these testing facilities are in a continuous process. New kinds, new formulas of plant fertilizers and pesticides need to be checked and examined for environmentally friendly crop growing. From these findings pertaining to the characteristics of plants, weather and pests, computer-aided algorithms are compiled and combined with the live stream of meteorological data. The homepage of Agricultural Meteorology Rhineland Palatinate www.wetter.rlp.de provides all the important data and results for the producers in real time. A few mouse clicks will tell the user whether a certain infestation has reached the damage threshold or whether irrigation is required. Farmers have the option to access specific forecast models for their individual way of crop growing. Models pertaining to arable farming, vegetable growing, fruit growing, horticulture, wine growing and beekeeping are available. If there is not enough information, professional service center consultants will be available. Agricultural meteorology provides weather data for almost 400,000 hectares of farmland, more than 5,300 hectares of fruit farms, 64,000 hectares of vineyard area, and up to 248,000 hectares of permanent grassland, thus securing and supporting the country's crops in over 27,300 agricultural businesses. Since the weather data is publicly available to everyone, many people from Rhineland Palatinate who are interested in the weather take advantage of the offer in order to obtain information about current weather developments. The collected data is also favoured beyond federal state borders due to its high measuring density and high quality. Agricultural meteorology microclimate weather data will also play an important role in the future when it comes to assessing climatic changes and their effects on climate conditions for agriculture in Rhineland Palatinate and beyond. <laughs>